Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently being invaded by the Mongols in what seems like a really ambitious invasion by them. I don't know what they're planning to do with that. We need to just come in over here and attack as quickly as possible. The real question is, can we get this dealt with in time to move these troops up here? I don't know where the Mongols are going to be attacking. What is their war goal? Their war goal is... What? what? Our core empire title. Okay. I really wish them luck with that. That's a really long ways away from their territory. Okay. Well, in that case, we're just going to make our way through here. We're going to siege this down. Do we go over this way and just eliminate their army? I kind of feel like we do. That's a quick and easy 50 war score. So that seems okay. We're going to hop over here. We definitely win this battle. There we go, they're stack wiped, and we're going to head over to Zarya, I think. That'll be fine. We do get a martial perk here, and we're going to grab Enduring Hardships. Honestly, that fort level might not be a bad thing. Especially if we're planning on giving land to the Mongols as we prepare to deal with them, since we're on the other side of the world right now. We'll see what we want to do about that. For now, though, this seems to be going swimmingly, and so that's wonderful. Okay, we're going to head up over here. We have not seen any Mongol forces just yet, but they're probably on their way. They're not going to be coming down here, to be clear. So that's fine. This war is now over. So we're going to enforce our demands. And I'm thinking about disbanding this force here. 13 months versus how long would it take to walk all the way up here? Two years. So we're actually better off to disband and rally some troops somewhere around here-ish. I'm going to rally... Wait a second. What am I doing wrong here? I'm clicking the wrong button. Okay, perfect. I'm going to rally just our men-at-arms here for right now. We'll see when the Mongols want to turn up. I suppose they could walk south here, embark, and show up at our capital, couldn't they? What do we think the odds are that they actually try that? I mean, it's a good plan. I kind of feel like they're not going to try it, though. I like how we've got just one knight chilling here. Perfect. So, I mean, we're going to definitely start raising additional forces up here eventually. We've got 15 months until these guys show up here. It'll be a bit. No doubt about that. And this is a slow start to the war. The Mongols haven't attacked us yet. They declared war and haven't bothered to show up. They've got 52,000 troops. They're just not using them as of right now. Man, that look, they look so weak. They look so, so weak. Attacking us is a really bad idea. I do want to deal with this faction. What is this? Peasant rabble? Never mind. We don't care. Cool. So we've got 12 months left on our gather over here. I see that our army size has doubled now. We have gone to two. Perfect. <laughs> and this is what happens when we're fighting on the other side of the world when we're attacked. It takes a bit. Like I said in the last episode, it's good timing by the Mongols. But they're not taking advantage of their timing in the slightest. Where even are they? If we could do it without uh, without losing achievements, I would swap over to the Mongols just to be like, what are they doing? They should have attacked us by now. They really should have. Somewhere. They're just not. They're not in other wars. They're just chilling. Okay. If this is how they want to play it, sure. We don't have our men at arms for eight more months. Once we get here, we're going to start doing a lot. So we've got five months to raise all of our troops. We don't need all of our troops. Ah, we're starting to pop in over here now. Cool. I'm going to start to raise some levy troops over here now. And we'll raise up, what, like 50k? Actually, what's his maximum? 75 Sure. We'll raise 75. We can definitely get there. So that's absolutely fine. I don't know what we're waiting on here. 
Maybe some knights or something? That's interesting. We'll pay the royal court a visit. Goodbye, royal court. Cool. We've got 125,000 troops here. This is more troops than we need. Okay, I'm going to split off the majority of these units at this point. We're going to leave one knight behind. And we're just going to walk up over this direction. We'll keep gathering. And we'll see who all we get here. So I'm going to group these together. Do we attack down here or do we attack up here? I think here seems fine. We're up to 11% war score already just because they haven't bothered to attack us anyway. I mean, it was always a really ambitious plan for them to attack us. But this is mildly ridiculous. Wait, we were coming up over here. Right. Yep, that's fine. We've got four knights now. Cool. Ah. He did embark. Kind of. He came down this way. How long would it take us to walk there? 13 months? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to continue our journey up to here. I'm going to split off our trebuchets, and we're going to create a relatively large siege force here. Somewhere around here. Big enough that they can't just casually walk up and swat it. So we're going to do that. We're going to put this guy in charge, and we're going to walk over here as planned. The rest of our forces are going to come back down this way and group up with these four knights, probably five knights by the time we get there. Never. A peasant's lot is to serve their lord. So we have peasants choosing right now to uh, rise up, and this is not going to go well for them. I don't know what their plan is here, but whatever it is, they need a better one. What's their total troop count? 35k? Sure. That's absolutely fine. We can definitely scale to this threat as well. No problem whatsoever here. So we're just going to raise up around 40k. A little bit more. There we go. That'll do. And in we go. And we'll just go around and eliminate these. So we know that the Mongols are down here. We're going to group up here. And we're going to launch some sieges up over this direction. Doesn't sound that appealing. Cool. So we're going to group up. And we'll march southward. We'll see how long it takes us to get there. It's going to be a bit. No doubt about that. I'm definitely a little surprised that they chose to attack here. But okay, we're going to head down here. That's only nine months out. I mean, we won't get there in time to stop this siege, but that's okay. So at this point, I want to head up over this direction. Fine, I, I didn't need it anyway. Cool. And we're going to eliminate all of this. Yes, they're starting to get some territory, but we control the war target. And so they cannot win this without contesting the war target. It's simply not possible for them at this point. So this is great. We're just going to continue to head on in over this way. We actually need to hit here. Yeah, that's awkward. Okay, we'll do it. No real problem whatsoever. These peasants are going to be eliminated very swiftly. Cool. We'll head down over here. Yeah, we know that they are attacking down over this way. That's fine. They can do that. Hmm. This guy wants to reward us for ambushing his vassal. Odds are really good here. And by good, I mean not good. <laughs> we'll give it a go, though. He escaped. That's sad. That's completely okay. We're not concerned about it at all. So these guys are now heading down here. I don't think we get there in time. So we're probably going to actually need to go down to Mecca, which is completely okay. No problem whatsoever. Army gold maintenance reduction would be good here. We are safe from smallpox. Indeed we are. So how are we doing on our travel southward? Okay. It's going to take us a bit. How's their siege going? Three months on that siege? Yeah, that's fine. No big deal there. We are, of course, winning this war right now, and that will continue to be the case. We're going to take attrition on the way southward, but it doesn't actually matter. Should be fine. So we catch these guys here. This should eliminate the peasant uprising. 
There we go. We'll enforce those demands and disband this army. We no longer need them. Magnificent. Where's our army at? There it is. We're actually getting pretty close here. Beautiful. We're not quite close enough. We want to get a lot closer, in fact. We're going to come in over this way. Customs office has just been built in Mecca. And we, of course, want to continue to upgrade over here. So we need to bring our farms and fields up. There we go. This siege is now over. So we're going to actually come down here and siege. There we go. Looks good. He is currently running away from us. What a jerk. I don't blame him, to be clear. I would run away from us, too. That's another siege up over here done already. That's very, very fast. Cool. So he's going to look to do some sieges down here. Once we get this stack wiped, we can just slow siege this stuff back. That'll be fine. And yeah, he doesn't want anything to do with this, but he's caught here. He doesn't have a chance. That looks like a stack wipe. Because it was a stack wipe. Is the rest of this a stack wipe? Possibly. Actually, yes, it is. Fantastic. So the war's actually over. We don't need to slow siege any of that back. We'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. The Mongols did not do well. Ooh, their special soldiers are down to 935. Rip in pepperonis, Mongols. Okay. Well, if they brought it on themselves, it's their own fault. Nothing really that we could have done to prevent it. So that's fine. We are going to accept these ransoms. Absolutely. And then we were looking at this guy here. But if I recall correctly, there's just nothing we can do to claim the kingdom. We don't want to claim the empire. We want to claim the kingdom here. What do we have? 110 reasons, 65, 80. And these guys have really high opinion of us. They're just not interested, is the answer. This guy's an unrelated child, though. 29 September. Okay, so we have a little time. Once he comes of age, he might be an interesting option. So we're still truced with Molly. Nothing to be done there. What about down over this direction? I mean, we could do a holy war for duchy, but this is a kingdom tier realm. What do we have for claimants here? This guy. Perfect. He is the wrong religion, but he'll join our court shortly. There we go. We'll demand that conversion. And he should accept that. Then we will declare this war. Perfect. 480 prestige. This guy has access to 11,000 troops. Okay. So all we're really going to need here is our men-at-arms. We don't need any more than that. We're going to head on in as soon as we get those raised. They'll take three months to raise. That will be a little bit. And all of these ransoms are fine. None of that's a problem. Cool. We're just going to continue to conquer Africa for the time being. Oh, he ended his truce with us. The, the Mongol Emperor did. Well, if he wants to attack us again... <laughs> if he wants to get absolutely wrecked again, he can do that. That would be fine. I would not be concerned about that. He'll just give us more gold. That said, we have a lot of gold. And not all that many things to spend it. Well, actually, we have a lot of things to spend it on. We can come down to a location like this, and we can build holdings. We can build lots of holdings, actually. Indeed, we can. Yeah, we've got things to spend it on. Just not things within our personal realm to spend it on right now. It's so rare to find a true friend. A villain at court? Who could have ever predicted this? So their capital falls. No shockers there. And we're just going to continue to head on through here. So at this point, we've kind of got our eyes set on getting all of Africa, right? That's kind of the goal right now. Hispania is a bit on the back burner, although it will be September soon. And we'll take a look at that guy as soon as he comes of age. I'd like to have this war finished first. I'm thinking that we come up over here and cut off his army. And this will end the war. Beautiful. So we'll enforce the demands and disband our troops. 
It is now the 7th of September. I believe this guy's birthday was on the 9th, wasn't it? Let's kick forward until like the 10th here. And let's take a look. We've got... 29th. Okay. I was on the uh, wrong decimal. Like, that that's not really the word I'm looking for, but... The multiple of 10. <laughs> that's what we're looking for here. Okay, we gain stress here. That's not ideal. This guy has lover's box. Okay. He also is apparently was born out of wedlock. That's very convenient for us. He would actually join our court. So we invite him in. He's the correct re religion. That's very, very solid. Yeah, all of these ransoms should be completely okay. The greatest game chess, huh? Apparently... We're, we're playing a game of chess. Okay. Yeah, Marshall is the way to go here. And we win. Cool. So, at this point, we want to declare on this fine gentleman here. Pressing not this claim. Whose claim was this? Yeah, this guy's claim. Specifically, we want the kingdom title. We do not want the Empire title here because that would be useless for us. This guy would become independent and that would not further any of our goals. Instead, we're going to declare the, the claim on the Kingdom, which will allow us to rip away the Empire title and will give us access to the rest of Hispania. So that's absolutely great. How many troops does this guy even have? 33,000? If we raise here, it's risky. I'm going to raise back here. We'll raise men at arms and levy troops. These ransoms are all fine. Cool. Ally joins. 40k. Sounds good. We can certainly scale to that. Noting his armies up there. Hmm. We're still a ways away on our men at arms. I kind of wish I hadn't stopped gathering the levy troops there. We're probably not going to get anything between now and when the men at arms turn up. Well, we got 18. That's a few anyway. Something. Not as many as we would have gotten. Okay. So yeah, we ended up getting 18. That's fine. This is more than enough. We're going to split off our trebuchets and somewhere around... Let's keep this at around 15, I think. There we go. We'll put in a siege commander. This guy will do. And we'll just head down over here and start sieging. Now I want to chase down this army up here. So up we go. And let's see if he lets us catch them. Yeah, we will. Beautiful. And these guys are now locked in here. We stack wiped that unit. And this unit will stack wipe as well. So this is looking good. And that stack wiped. Beautiful. We're going to go start a slow siege on his capital. And then we'll just work our way there with our fast seizures. How are we going here? 22 months? It's a little bit, but that's fine. There we go. Another siege done. We're at 71% war score right now. We do get an available perk here, and we'll take strict organization as the only real option available right now. These sieges are a little slower than I'd like them to be. Interesting. Probably because it's a relatively high level fort. Yeah, it's a level 19 fort. That'll do it. Okay. This siege will go a lot faster. We do require a new steward. We'll put in this fine gentleman right here. Perfect. A holy order. Okay, that's... Wait, he hired a holy order. He's a shari, right? Yeah, how did he hire a holy order against us? Well, it doesn't matter. The war is over anyway, as soon as this siege finishes, which will be momentarily, now that our fast seizures are here. There's nothing he can do about this. The war is super over. Ten days left. And there we go. We will, of course, enforce our demands and disband our troops, and let's take a look at what we got. Perfect. This looks ideal. So, yes, we don't get all of his territory. That's fully expected. What we do get is the Kingdom of Andalusia, which is exactly what we need to usurp the Empire right here. Boom. And now, suddenly, this guy's broken up into a bunch of duchy tier realms because he had no additional... Uh, he had no additional 
kingdom level title, kingdom level or higher. So that is absolutely perfect. We can now go after a bunch of this if we so desire. Let's see. We can probably offer this guy vassalage. His realm is remote from ours. Yeah, that's not true. He is kind of our prisoner right now. We could negotiate his release for a favor hook. Which we will do. And then we can offer vassalage. Oh, we can't use a hook on that? For some reason, I thought we could. His opinion of us is low. I'm just going to send him a gift. Now he's at six reasons to not accept this. What a jerk. I guess we could sway him. Okay, what do we have going on up here? This guy's also our prisoner. 67 reasons not to. I'm going to send him a gift as well. He'll gain 51 opinion of us. That puts him at 32 reasons not to. Up in Navarra, this guy would become our vassal. As long as there's no exemption. Which is fine. He's the right religion. So that's okay. Cool. And as far as this lady goes, she would actually do the same. Perfect. So now we need to decide what we want to do about these guys. Hmm. Really, all we need is opinion with this guy. He's at six reasons away. So. For now, honestly, I think that if we just... He's upset because we usurped his title and refused him. And we demanded a hook. And we refused him again? No. Same refusal. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. So th that's all fine for now. With this guy, what do we want to do with him? Hmm. His close family members would lose 50 opinion of us, but his son would still be at a higher opinion than he is. Without a gift. Done. So, okay, he desires a bunch of sheikdoms. That's interesting. We're going to send him a gift. Why would he be desiring all of these sheikdoms when he's not our vassal? That's intriguing. We'll ransom all these prisoners. That's fine. All of these opinions I did not expect to see here. I mean, we could just declare war on him, right? That, that is definitely an option. This is controlled not by us. Okay. Noted. That seems reasonably fine. I would very much like to get this guy on our team. We did execute his dynasty member slightly. I'm sure he'll get over it. I'm sure he'll get over it. As far as this guy goes, I think we'll declare war on him. And this is just going to be pressing this claim. Cool. We'll raise our men-at-arms and go on in. That should honestly be really close to ending the war. Okay, they're going to stop our raise. That's vaguely annoying, but not really anything other than annoying. So we're going to raise over here instead. They've decided to siege where we were raising. Ah, okay. So our best friend died. That's very sad. We're going to move up over this direction. And someone stole our artifact. Very rude. Very, very rude indeed. So we need to get this guy's opinion of us up. And there are a number of ways that we could do that. For one thing... For one thing, just this way scheme will do the trick. Or actually just sitting here and doing nothing would do the trick. Eventually. But for now, I want to get this siege completed. Not like this is going to be a very lengthy siege. Cool. We'll hop over here. And this will be an exceptionally fast one. Do we battle after this or do we go for the siege on their capital? Honestly, either would work. Cool. So that put us at 99% there. Okay. I do want to grab ordained rulership here. 
cool. What just happened? Okay, this guy would become our vassal. The realm here broke up, and it wasn't a succession either. This guy's still in charge here. That's real. Oh, and now he'd become our vassal. Okay, cool. We'll do it. <laughs> That's weird. Sure. We're going to grant vassals to rightful lieges. We can also vassalize this guy over here. Consider it done. So that's fine. I want to create vassals over to rightful lieges, and we'll do exactly that, making sure that these guys are not necessarily under us. These could be moved into Castile, actually, and I'm going to do exactly that. There we go. And then we've got this guy here. We need to bring his opinion up, or we could just conquer him. That's the other option. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll deal with this guy. We'll see how we want to handle that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.